everybody, Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. Today is Monday, May 3rd. So, we got a lot to get through. We literally are just, uh, the fishing is really, really good and there's just a lot to discuss. So, we're going to start off with um, our warm water species, our, our smallmouth bass and our largemouth bass and our sunfish. So, uh, we guide on the James in Central Virginia and uh, the, the bass are uh, on their nests, guarding, uh, guarding their eggs. All right. So, um, we, you know, when it comes to fishing for bass this time of year, uh, they're all on a little bit different schedules. The South Fork of the Shenandoah is on a little bit different schedule than the James. Um, but we've been finding bass on their nest, uh, spawning, actively spawning. We've been finding bass guarding. Uh, once they're guarding, the males are guarding. You, you, you want to leave them alone. Uh, stay away from those little back eddies. Uh, where the calmer water is, if you see a nest, you see a bass guarding on, guarding it, leave it alone. It's it's pretty unethical to to pull a guarding male uh, off that nest. All right, uh, the hens push back out and start to feed. So if you're fishing like riffle water, uh, wave trains where there's a lot of flow, um, you'll catch juvenile bass who aren't spawning. You'll catch hens who are done spawning. Um, there's also plenty of other species to be caught in the warm water fisheries. So the largemouth bass have not begun their spawn yet. They wait for things to warm up a little bit more. So fishing CK bait fish, um, fishing clawed ads out in the seams um, or out in the main channels uh, will help you avoid uh, some of these nesting spots, okay? Um, and then we'll try and keep bringing you up to date. Uh, Colby's been out in the water a lot. I've been out in the water a lot, bringing you a lot of great videos. Um, and then eventually um, those those males, once the fry are there and they're pretty able to, uh, you know, move around, the large, ma the sorry, the males will move off and start to feed as well. All right, so we'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, but the fishing's been pretty good for the lakes and ponds in the area. It's the same kind of deal. You can kind of work the edges. I have a little pond on my property, and uh, the largemouth bass that live in it haven't come up quite yet. They're starting to stage. They're starting to kind of find their spots and find their mate. Uh, but they are not on their nests yet. So use, use your eyes, keep a lookout. Uh, we also have some weather to contend with. So it's gonna be wet all week. There's some big thunderstorms coming through today. It looks like the next four or five days are gonna be chance of rain every day. Keep your fingers crossed uh, that we don't get any big blowouts. There's some rivers, particularly the James, the Potomac, the New, uh, they can ill afford to have a total washout and spawn loss, okay? there's several generations of bass that these rivers are missing due to flooded flooded out spawn years. So, you know, keep your fingers crossed for a good spawn season. All right, more on that as we go. If you guys have questions about spawning fish, what to avoid, what to look for, uh, just give us a call at the shop or email us or stop by. Um, but for those of you who are out there fishing and you want to avoid it, you can definitely do that, especially floating the rivers. You can be out in the riffles kind of mending your flies down deep in those ledges, the fast water. Um, there's certain places in the river there's just no chance of you pulling a spawning fish out of. All right, um, so that's the, that's the warm water fisheries. The trout streams, uh, the mountain trout streams up high, especially on the western slopes um, over in the uh, GW, have started to get pretty low. Um, the, so this, uh, this rain will be quite good. Um, it looks like showers each and every day. Uh, so. That'll help bump them back up. <clears throat> if we get flooded, if we get a lot of rain between now and the weekend, uh, or you're not quite sure heading into the weekend, if we, if we got a little bit too much, just give us a call. We'll update you uh, for a weekend, you know, for the weekend fishing. Um, still bugs coming off, plenty of bugs to be found. Uh, some reports of the first uh, yellow sallies of the season showing up. So that's pretty cool. That's a bright yellow fly. So for people who have a hard time seeing some of the bugs up in those shady mountain creeks, uh, throwing a yellow sally will be good. Those, those are going to fish well all the way through the entire month of June, really. They're pretty important, so stimulators work well. We've got some really cool yellow sally uh, patterns on our online store. Headlight sally, that one's really easy to see, so j check some of those out. Um, there's other mayflies around, March browns are around, some Hendrickson's are around, caddis have been popping randomly here and there. Um, so there's, there's just a lot of bug life and opportunities for the fish. Again, uh, attractors work. Uh, put on your favorite big bushy uh, royal humpy or put on your favorite uh, purple para wolf. Something that floats really well, something that you can see really well 
And if you're not having luck with it and you're seeing them rise to natural bugs and you got to go more natural, then switch over to some of your, your more natural patterns. Um, so cooler mornings still, we have some cooler mornings, although we've had some mild nights as well. Uh, I typically start off with a dry dropper uh, just to see if any of those fish that aren't willing to come all the way up in the morning uh, want to eat a little nymph. So you almost can't go wrong with your nymph. Um, pheasant tails, pheasant tail nymph, pretty good. Uh, so that brings us to the spring creeks. Um, Mossy's been fishing really well. It's been, it's been a little bit busy on some weekends, but if you can get out there like on a Monday, I live on the creek, I live on Mossy. Um, you know, people say sometimes, oh, it's a little bit busy. You know, don't forget there's four, over four miles of water to the public there. A lot of times I'll see three or four cars parked and everybody's fishing within the first hundred yards. That goes for all trout fishing. Uh, just walking a little bit can do wonders. Uh, for, for your fishing. Uh, you'll see the paths getting less and less beat down as you go further and further. Uh, sulfur hatches are starting to ramp up a little bit more. Trico hatches are starting to ramp up a little bit more. It's already seen our first couple of drakes, uh, early drakes. Um, so all good signs, not gangbusters yet. So we still got a little bit of time before we really get those big hatches. Streamer fishing's been good. We get some heavy downpours this week. You'll want to be running streamers, um, especially if the water gets off color. All right. After a whole seven, eight, nine days stretch of bluebird skies, those browns, you know, they're, they're pretty nocturnal. They don't like to eat out in the sun all day, every day if they can avoid it. When you get four, five, six days of overcast like we've got here coming up this week, it can get really, really good throwing streamers. So get your near enough sculpins out, get your creolex ready, get your dark crystal buggers out. Um, and if we get a good downpour and get a little color to the water, race to the creek and get some fish all right so anyway lots going on everything's fishing pretty well water levels are pretty good um, hopefully the rain this week is just kind of like some showers on and off throughout the day over the next five days that's really what we need um, trees are leafing out all the way up to like almost 3,000 feet so uh, that'll help too that'll you know if we get some heavy downpours the, the leafing out of the trees really starts to change the dynamic of how much water makes it into the system how quickly so anyway all right, that's it for today. Call us if you have questions. Um, looks like we're gonna have a beautiful weekend in store after a week of some showers. So everything should be looking good. Awesome, thanks.